Und wieder so. <lacht> oh Gott! Aber das Bier hat nicht irgendwie so. Okay, bro. And I'm gonna overfarm. There we go. Um. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm confused. What's happening today? Like, is, is it okay? <laughs> And I've caught the shield, so we do. And that's that's a Venus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, why is everyone running Venus? I can't with it. Like I'm not even making it up. This is just getting next level. Why? <laughs> There's nothing my opponent can do but die. And they top left with two shields. Out for the count. That might be the best Venusaur one. Go battle day. Like, everyone's uni. Venusaur. <sighs> Welcome to Caesar Productions. And we have stonkers for you today. Triple fly try hole. Triple fly troll hole. So we've gone with the triple fly troll hole and we've gone for go battle day and we've seen how many matches we can take it's, it's been a lot of fun uh, and we've managed to smash down uh, the amount of insults i saw was just uh, insane if i'm honest um, as you can tell by my intro i hope you enjoy happy elo hunting and do make sure to like and subscribe I've got a little bit of something at the end for you stay stay tuned it's far later than i thought it was going to be but i am able to log back in so let's do this i don't care about the spawns just care about the battles We're gonna do one of the old bird line. Mix things up a bit for myself. We're doing a lot of master today. Leader short. <laughs> oh God. I was behind the demon saw. Yeah, okay, bro. Building up that energy. We've got the Venus all tagged on closer and say, and leave everything. <laughs> Venus all tagged. So it depends what's behind the Dragonite. We can take it. It's fine. Bring Skarmory out. Time out. That would feel good. That would do. I'm going to find out what they're going to do now. This is the top left or not, isn't it? I can power up with your eyes, please. It's good. It's good. Well, let's just be on pace here. If it was Shadow, it might be a little bit more threatening. <coughs> I might have to shield the next one. Yeah, I do. I have to shield this one to get it off. But don't worry. I won't put it all into Talon. What are we gonna do? Switch in. What are we gonna do? Switch in. <laughs> now we've got you to trick out this area. Okay, we should shield that. These sludge bombs are gonna have to line pretty damn hard.
shit, there you go. That's why I saved the shield, because I was like, I'm going to sneak into this mission, because we're on the five turn, he's going to get the next area of ice cream. The shield. And this is goodbye. See you, Nara. This is all from me. This is all from me. GG's. Okay, praise blood dick. Definitely praise blood dick. <coughs> Gotta take the first one. It's a big hit. You get the move through there as well. Okay, so. Obviously, we're going to go to Mandy first. Okay. Fire at everywhere. Just pop fire in. Now, the court and the CMP then as well. That's quite interesting. I don't think that was possible. can be quite dangerous because you can just fire night slashes it doesn't really matter because you're looking for the boost and as soon as you get the boost then you go with the cross jobs if you get it on the first night slash you just continue the cross jobs and here's the night slash i'm not gonna block anything they haven't got the boost yet which is good i was thinking ul was good it's a good choice good pick and it's good to put out against uh, mandy buzz here Burns bulk, I burned the bulk of their, it's bulk in this situation there, it is anyway. Wins every single one, that's just hurting my head. It does not normally how this works. So I'm like two turns behind. Normally it's, there we go, here we go. Right, okay, so they've got the boost now. So now they're gonna start with cross tops. I'm not gonna block them, here's what it is. There we go. So we've got to start winning them soon enough. But maybe that's the sign that they're now going for cross chop. And pretty much finish them on, off. So their boost is, is reasonably wasted. Because it's, it, it's all happened on Mandy Buzz. There we go, he's taken us out. We need to worry about the switch timer. Yeah, I mean. It's dodgy either way, so we finish off the obstagoon. The muck comes out. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna brave bird it, and then I'm gonna switch back to talent. Definitely a brave bird moment. And the next brave bed. So we've got these out of the way. I've still got two shields to deal with Muck. A little bit of concentration has put us in a good position. That deep buff doesn't matter. Don't get a move in. They do on that, which is. And I block everything to get to that brave bed. We don't have to look at that last one. That, is, that was a worthy match. Like I say, a little bit of concentration, held the line, and Brave Bird and Dip proved to be 
a winning set. I like it. I can't wait to start taking some ELA with this. I should just delete that, that, that random team. <laughs> Umbreon, very bad and dip. There's very little that gets very bad and dipped. And we take a foul play. Because we can't, yeah, you can't get to Brave Bird without taking the move unless they try and double up. Big foul play. But when you take it, you're at the move. Ready for the switch straight away as soon as it comes up there. Before the animation is completely finished, you're already switching. And I'm going to over farm. There we go. Um. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm confused. What's happening today? Like, is it okay? It's <laughs> <laughs> and I've caught the shield, so we're doing real well. Doesn't matter. It cannot one shot you, not even close. You still have a lot of energy left after, and they want to do the frenzy plant anyway. That's exactly why you don't shield Mandy Buzz. The V Well, I hardly shield Mandy Buzz actually. Mandy Buzz is a shield. And we're taking just chunking it. Again, no shields. We're gonna keep this double shield advantage sitting here. They've got the single shield advantage. We've got the double. They're landing them. Not a problem. Still gonna let it through. We're gonna bang that energy. And then we're gonna be sending out. We are doing those frenzies. Yeah, so Talonflame's going to take Shadow Ball one way or another. Either it's going to take the shield, or it's going to do some damage. Do some damage. I don't believe that you can hit the Shadow Ball there. I believe that it comes up, but your move is a move ahead, so it actually takes one extra step to register, so you get to do it there. Now, obviously, I come out of my talent. I block everything because it could be a brave bird and I have Skarmory in the back. Block again. I'm gonna come out with Skarmory as soon as I've done this. I have no switch to worry about. I'm not testing it. That's the time I block. And I get rid of their fire. So unless we're about to find a Charizard in the back, Oh yeah, I completely forgot, it's the Umbreon. We good. I thought I was in another match. <laughs> the Umbreon, we have nothing to worry about. I can take two of these, I can most probably get to the Brave Bird. Two. We seem to be lagging, um, so... I'm just going to go for the sky attack because I believe that's going to be enough damage. At least to get it to a chip damage. Yep, look at that, nice. It's going to hit me hard where I am, but I do believe this is still my match. And one more. GG's. GG's to my opponent. Completely forgot the lead. Completely forgot it was a lead switch. After the was Hashtag no idea. Byproduct from running through all these matches sometimes. Had a break from Master. I'm loving Gengar, but it is hit and miss. 
There's, oh, that's a brave bet and dip if ever I've seen one. Uh, let it through, whatever it is. The fire rocks. A sand tomb happening here. They're not switching out. Something's being brave birded, that's how I see it. Running double brave bird. Maybe the aim of the match is to double brave bird each game. And we're gonna land that shadow ball. Unless they yeah, switch out. And we are gonna land that shadow ball. So this is perfect, depending on how far health we are. But I'm going to go for double shadow ball. One. Okay, I'm not going to make the next area waste. If I had a bit more life, I'd be able to make the next area waste, and that's exactly what I'm aiming for. Which I'm going to do now. We'll capture the shadow ball. That's why some people like to put. Um, I get there. I don't. I get the move, but yeah, it's exactly the same time. It was actually not on the move. Um, well, that's kind of fine. We just block everything you've got. Because it could be a flamethrower. I haven't counted because I'm talking. So I'm going to commit the shield. It's my own fault. It's the ancient power. Two. Three. And we'll just get rid of it because I don't want the fear of the flamethrower. That's gone. And we're just going to land that sky attack. Get the sand tuned. Nope, we're going to get the sky attack before we get sand tuned. That's even better. So we've cleared all the debuffs. Haven't gone for that second uh, brave bird here yet. I think we're in a winning position if I'm honest. We're going for Brave Bird here. This is a Brave Bird here. Let the ice go through. Takes us deep into the red. But I believe. If I shield now. They don't have residual energy. They have this one. And I can take them on the Brave Bird. And there it is. Let's see how much damage this does. Because if it doesn't kill them, I am about to switch Talon in straight away anyway. There was no boost on this. They're also not about to take us down. They might be able to fire. But it won't take us down. But I'm going to say it. GG to my opponents. That was, that was a good one. There we go. Out for the camp. I'm telling you, this team is it is it's extreme. <laughs> you, just, you just play into it, and you're comfortable, and you understand the lines, and you start to get it. Like I've got it here, it starts to make sense. And if everyone wants to start running Venusaurs, I'm really happy with that. Like Venusaurs are really good ones. You should always run Venusaur. As far as I'm concerned, Venusaur is top meta, and it should always be used. Okay, cool. Again, gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna brave bird and it. Might be an acid spray. But we get there first, so they were definitely going for the bigger move. Or looking to store energy. Whichever one is fine. Don't want to get caught in a CMP, so again, I'd really try, I really urge to do it in the animation but as soon as like you can hit the Pokemon you want. Know which Pokemon you want to hit, know where your safety is. We switch we're in the switch, so that's fine. So we go for the shadow balls. We let the hydro cannon through now. Or hydro cannon. Don't try and call off any moves. Go for it straight away. See what they want to do. You haven't shielded. There's more than like they're not going to shield. Don't shield. Mandy Buzz can't one shot it from there. Now this is the point where they might think about shielding. So if you don't shield, you put them in the back on their back foot. They're like really but it doesn't do too much damage and I'm going to make the shadow ball before they can make the next move. Now, I didn't do much damage last time as far as they're concerned. 
but they're a lower health point now. Take it, look, almost down. So, I'm again not going to use the shield. Because they haven't used the shield, I haven't used the shield. I would have considered using the shield if they did. Residual energy doesn't get us there, but that chip damage there was uh, pretty cool. We're going to wait the timer out here. And we're just going to come in straight, get that chip damage. Just in case that he can fire straight away, it went on to Skarmory instead of Talon. That does show that my opponent what my team is though. And that's, that's a Venus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is everyone running Venus Swords? I can't with it, like, I'm not even making it up, this is just getting next level. Why? <laughs> just... There's nothing my opponent can do but die. And they top left, with two shields, out for the count, that might be the best Venusaur one. Go battle day, like, everyone's union, Venusaur! <gasps> Oh, this is some of the best content. Content. This is the best content I've made in a while. I really, I can't believe how many. I think that was five Venusaurs. So that's ten Venusaurs so far. Every time I play Ultra, I see Venusaurs. <laughs> Rate my Tafu. I just went to five and zero and got Mistrevious. Are we? Are you serious? Ah, GG's. Now, as stated before, there is a little special surprise at the end. And I want to do a shout out to black luffy 92 who is a special kind of player if we're honest uh next level just some of his plays are just insane so when it comes to the question of why shadow ball on mandy buzz uh that was my original question for ultra um and he went next level uh, just just next level he took it into master and he produced this fine piece of artwork uh, i haven't watched it yet so i'm gonna break it down as we're watching it ggs to his opponents and happy elo hunting for him season 12 see you soon okay luffy Let's see what you got here. So he comes in with his Landris and he's on the mirror. We're in Master and we've got the ultra based Mandibuzz here. He's building up. He gets to that stone edge and he switches straight into the Mandibuzz. So he's going to take it. He's going to take anything that's going to put out. Assuming a stone edge, oh, it's a big hit. And here comes the Shadow Ball. He's gone for the Shadow Ball variant. And here it comes. Here comes the Shadow Ball. How much damage are you going to do? Oh, it does a, that's a immediate. That's a reasonably good chip considering. Does he commit the shield? He does not commit the shield. He lets it go through. That's the second stone edge. So he comes straight back out of his Landorus. Landorus and he uses that energy on the stone edge there. That play from the Mandibuzz though. What a beautiful safety. They haven't switched out at all. He's going to take this next one. Takes the stone edge to the face. And he's going to keep building up. What is he going to He uses his shield. He catches his next superpower. Ooh. And they switch out. And what has he just landed this stone edge on? Oh, it's onto the Tapu Bulu. Now that's a big hit. He, oh, he switches in after taking next to, straight into that next stone edge. He's got that stone edge sitting there. He's taking it. And he's put out his his. You think, I always think it's a dragon, but it's not. It's psychic against the, the fairy here. Grass fairy, dazzling gleam, does a nice chunk. He builds up over farming like there's no tomorrow. They literally max energy air. Bang, super effective. He's ready for days. What are they going to do? They come out. Oh, okay. So here comes the Aero Blast. Is it going to land? That's the question. Are they going to let the Aero Blast through? They do let the Aero Blast through. And for not effective, that was really quite a chunk. And we've gone for that Stone Edge because it's ready and waiting. They're definitely going to catch the shield. They're going to let it go. We're going to shield to catch us. And he's going to let it go. The Super Bow comes through. They've debuffed themselves. Lugia comes back out. He has to make that Sky Attack. He shields, he uses, commits the last shield to take that stone edge there. He's committing to the farm down, he's got the farm down. 
and then here comes the last and he gets that last aero blast which obviously we saw the not effect it didn't do that much damage but it did and there it is ggs to his opponent there well done that's absolute madness even the fact that that mandy was got work in there at all here we go next set next one next one oh that was beautiful it really was I've watched a top tier player use something like a mean Pokemon like that as well. Gift the match out. Okay, so the Mewtwo here. We've got we've got a style on the variant here. It depends what it's running. Could be Ice, could be Superpower, could be Shadow Ball. We've got the Side Strike, which is the uh, the, the usual play. We've got these Stone Edges, they're ready to go. Best energy consumption here at the moment. We catch the shield. Mewtwo needs to shield most things anyway. Nice. Okay. So we bring out the Mandy Buzz and we catch the Side Strike. And it's still not effective. Look at that. Even in Masters, you'd think it would do more damage. It doesn't. And we've got the Shadow Ball. Are we going to land the Shadow Ball though? Is the Shadow Ball going to land? It is. It's a good chip damage. It's a good chip damage. And we do again. We go for the next Shadow Ball. Hashtag, I'm not baiting. There's no point in using Aerial Ice in Masters. There just isn't any point. We're going to go for it. We get to it. We do. They've, I think they've committed to the farm down. And that's why you can get to the Shadow Ball here. And he lets that through as well, and with the farm down, commit, committing to the farm down has put the elder in a really bad spot. I'm assuming you know shield here, because you can take the iron head. A, a, a Draco Meteor, Meteor, oh, big hit, big hit, but then they come out with here. Oh, so it's, I'm assuming you, they're going to try and bait you with a sand tomb. They do with the outrage, it's a big hit. It's a big hit, and you're still going to go for that aero blast, the balls on you. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that, just cut straight through it, and then you just no shield anything that's coming from the Dialga, and you've got it, you got this on, you got this, it's fine, you shield this now, beautiful, catch on the stone edge, that's the stone edge on the shield, that's fine, and you still have the energy, you still, and you don't get into it CMP or anything, that's so beautiful. And he takes the win. Oh, almost not all. Oh, <laughs> I thought that. I counted those chickens before they'd hatched, and I didn't quite take the win there, but he comes out and. <sighs> sweating. Chip, I'm telling you, Black Lope Luffy 92, you've got some, uh, got some top tier game here, I'm telling you. Okay, Landry finds it on Mewtwo again. Okay. Slowed this one down. This time we've got the uh, Giratina O in the back. So Mandy Buzz is baited out the Kyogre. Okay. So it's good for Landris. It's good for Landris. We brought the Kyogre out. It depends what Mewtwo is running. We're going to take these Shadow Balls. That's, that seems correct. Yeah, you're, you're going to laugh. Going to go, oh, I'm not shielding that. Okay, he's going for the Open Farm. Very definitely going for the over farm. Gonna take the surf. It's a big hit considering you can still farm. Was it wise to go for the over farm considering? Did you want it to fire? Maybe that was the maybe that's what it wanted it to do. Get it to waste its energy. Maybe that's the play here. Because now it hasn't got a move loaded for Landris. And you can bring your Tina and soak up the next whatever it's got here. And we're not running the dragon, so it's not running Dragon Claw. He is going to, oh, he is a Blizzard variant though, and he does shield up. Very, very, very wise choice indeed. I wouldn't have shielded that myself because I don't see the Blizzard variant very much. So, very well played. Catches the Shadow Ball with the shield there. He's doing super effective. He's going to take what I'm assuming is going to be a side strike. Could be a Shadow Ball. It's a side strike. It's a good hit. It's a really big hit. And there we go. Shadow Ball ready to go. The Dragon Pulse there as well. He does have hidden in the back. Doesn't look like he's going to make it to it, but he switches out as soon as he gets that shield of Vantage. He's got that Stone Edge now. We saw the Stone Edge doesn't quite take it out. So we know it's going to do a big hit. But yes, from where it is, it was enough to do it, which is kind of beautiful. Shields are down, so now it's Earthquake time. And then here comes the Earthquake. The Alga is not going to appreciate this at all whatsoever. Boom! There it is. There is your boom of the day. And I think we might even get to the Stone Edge here. Very close indeed. Not a problem though. One one fast move takes it out. GG's. 
I can't, I like, like, I'm speechless. Some of these plays are insane. So I will drop, I will drop his uh, link in the comments. Please do go and check out uh, Black Luffy 92 because he is just such an excellent player. It's just epic. And here we go. So we've got the Tina O. And what are we going to learn here today? That's also the question. So he's over farming. He's going to shield anything? I don't think so. I don't think I'd shield. It's, yeah, he is. He's going to shield a shadow ball. Okay. So he is going to. We're looking at landing that earthquake. We know the earthquake's going to do a nice amount of damage here. The ghost doesn't appreciate ground at all. So they shield as well. So we've both shielded. What are we going for next? We're going for the switch. And we're going to catch the shadow ball on Mandy Bus. How much? Shadow Ball going to do on Mandy Buzz here. It really is chip damage. It really is chip damage. That was kind of beautiful. They're staying in, so they're looking at catching a move, I'm assuming. No, they're trying it yet. So they tried to catch a Shadow Ball, which is okay. So this is the test of time. How does Mandy Buzz fare against a Master Style? And that, yeah, there's the charms. They're chipping in. He's going for it. Double Shadow Ball. Does this one land? This one lands. He's in a good position. It does land, it takes it into the yellow, so it is halfway mark now. He's not gonna make that because he's gonna Oh Oh I think I think we've got a bit of lag here. See I would I would have gone for the area way to there just because that's the only way you're gonna make and I think his opponent and the diver stopped attacking for a second. Or they glit yeah, I think his opponent stopped attacking just for a second there. It comes out. He's got this ready to go. Boom. They let that go. They let the stone edge through. Because they're going to fire off this shadow ball. Is he going to block this second shadow ball? He isn't. We're going to see how much damage it does. It does a lot. That was insane amount of damage considering. Keeping the, the, in the both got six shield right edge. They're sharing it. Are we going to block the shadow ball? It could be an ominous win. It is a shadow ball. We do block it. All oh, this is tense. All oh, this is tense. We now have to get through that shield. They should feel easy about shielding, if we're honest. They should be about the same energy, if not a couple of eight turns extra. They switch, switch, which is scary. Um, this is going to eat it alive, right? Mewtwo is going to get eaten alive by this Shadow Ball, and he has, he has undercharged it slightly. He's undercharged it slightly. Does he get away with this, this side strike here? It is a side strike, and he does get away with it slightly. Does he make the move? He does not. He's just out on the edge there. GG's to GG's to Black Lucky 92. Shame he was taken out on that one there. But wow, the power of Mandy Buzz. So there you have it. Mandy Buzz is a beast confirmed. So Black Lucky 92 took it into Masters and showed us exactly what we're all missing. So GG to all of the opponents, mine, his, him, and me. Uh, I will leave his his uh, link for his YouTube in the comments because you need to check him out. Go and check him out. Go and check him out. And I'll see you soon. Catch you in season 12. GG's.